powerful winter storm that brought severe frost and heavy rainfall swept most of the United States, which is home to about 250 million people. Severe weather warnings are in effect in 12 U.S. states. On Tuesday, frosty weather came to the northwest of the country and then moved to the east. On Friday, as forecasters warned, the storm turned into a so-called explosive cyclone, a natural phenomenon observed in the middle latitudes. When the cyclone sharply intensifies during the day, atmospheric pressure drops rapidly. Severe frosts, squally winds, and heavy snowfalls have already caused the death of 19 people. More than one and a half million people in the country were left without electricity. <laughs> Hundreds of flights were canceled last Friday. A powerful winter storm covered an area of 3,200 kilometers from Texas to Quebec. Explosive cyclone brought heavy snowstorms to the U.S.-Canada border to the Great Lakes region. Much of Canada was also in the grip of a winter storm. In Ontario and Quebec, severe frosts have led to power outages in homes where hundreds of thousands of people live. Most of Canada, from British Columbia to Newfoundland, was in severe cold. Residents are being warned of further worsening weather. The U.S. National Weather Service said that this is the first such large-scale onset of cold weather in the history of observations. Almost the entire territory of the country was in the grip of a winter storm. The temperature in Montana on Friday dropped to minus 45 degrees Celsius. In Michigan on Friday night, the temperature dropped to minus 17 degrees Celsius.